this didn't come about, thank heavens. I'd hate to be running through this stuff. I can't tell you how high that bush was. It was over our heads. I mean, we were up in the trees, and she's just plowing along. It was, it was great. That was the highlight of the trip. We did one of those in the morning for two hours, then we did one in the afternoon for two hours, and we had three fantastic meals. The service there was just fantastic. Those, well, these boys, the owner told me, I said, these are native boys, and he picks the best of the crop, and he teaches them, and they have nice clothes. He says they're very big people in camp, in their uh, village, because everybody wants to be a guide for mountain tops, or work in the kitchen, be a waiter, or work, uh, work with the people cleaning rooms, or work with the elephants. Everybody wants to do that, but not everybody can. Only a few are chosen. Namaste, which means good good day. And our last day was in Kathmandu. It was a free day, and we spent it with Betty King and, and Jet uh, King. They were the couple that we met from the landings. And uh, we met her husband at the uh, restaurant, but he, he was ill. He, he couldn't... Uh, he ordered toast and coffee, and then he said, i got to go back to the hotel. I can't stay here. We met for lunch. But first, Ralph and I and Betty went to a Buddhist temple, to the temple of Swayam Buhuntnath. And we went up hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of steps to the temple. It went straight up a hill. It was a Buddhist temple. The ones that have the, it had the real large, stumpa in the center and it, it has eyes painted on all four sides of it and the eyes are supposed to be all seeing and all knowing <clears throat> so uh, w along with these money many steps we met many tibetan people there that were selling bracelets and so forth and many monkeys which were the rhesus kinds and they were all over and looking for any kind of cookies or anything that you had and we went also at the top where the temples were and all the candles were lit and the medicine man was making all kinds of medicines. They were doing a movie and uh, this uh, man that was the star of the movie with his fancy white shirt and good clothes, so he had high heels to make him higher than everybody else so that he looked the best. And... Uh, we just just had a good good day there, and uh, uh, after that, and after we had lunch, it was spaghetti and tomatoes and hamburgers, and then we went and shopped for our uh, gold travel bags type of bag because ours just died. In fact, a little mouse came and ate a hole in mine because there was some a candy inside, and she wanted to get that, and we found them seven dollars each. Unbelievable expandable on top of it and we gave the old bags to the maid and we had to sign a paper to say that we said it was okay for her to take them and she said oh these are good for books at school so she's going to give them to her kids and they're going to be so happy with that so then we were looking in the shops and there was a one shop that had 31 flavors ice cream and we had an ice cream cone. It was our first time on the whole trip to have ice cream, so boy, we really relished that. And back, to, and then when we went back to the hotel, Betty wanted to get back and see how Jet was doing. And we got on a, a motorbike that has the man driving the bike, and then it's a two-seater behind. And we got on that, and we drove all the way up the big hill by our hotel, way up. And then we got out and we walked back. And he kept stopping back to see if we wanted to have a ride because they, they think people are very unusual who walk, you know, when you could have a bike, motorbike ride. So we're almost home. We, we have been in Taipei, India, Nepal, Tha Thailand, and Japan. Well, Japan, we just stayed over for an hour. The only thing I didn't like about the whole trip was the smog that was in New Delhi and uh, Jaipur and Kathmandu.